Hi, it's the Tech Rabbit again. My name's Rolf. Got a case here we're gonna unbox. Have a look at it. It's um, Leon Lee Dynamic. This is Roll 11. And um, what's special about this case is that it actually has quite a lot of space in it. And, um, and instead of being built of aluminium, it's built of steel. And um, if you're into PC stuff and PC overclocking, it's uh, been um, co-designed with DeBauer, who's one of the world's leading PC overclockers. And um, since he was involved in the project, he requested one thing to be added, which was a location for a second power supply. And because it's DeBauer, he got what he wanted even if nobody else will probably ever use it, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I purchased this because I, I did some research online. I would like to have a case with a little bit more space, and, and, and just because he had that concept of having two power supplies, it's actually, um, there is actually uh, more space in this case for cable management than, than there usually is in other cases. But anyway, this is going to be a two-part video. In this first one, we're just going to take it out of its box um, on the floor here, and then I uh, will break the video and um, set it up on the um, table and do a part two. So that in part two, we'll actually just take the panels off and, and discuss um, getting prepared to put the components in it. So anyway, I already opened up the box just to make, make it a bit faster to get started with the unboxing. Ah, uh, so, so I think I'm going to try this unboxing, unboxing method. I don't know if it will work, so let's hope it does. Um, so we just open the lid and then I intend to try and pull it out. And if I'm lucky it will come. Yeah, look at that. Wow. As you see, it's relatively big. Uh, not being a full tower as such. Here it has a glass side panel, and then the front panel is also glass. And then you have the connector, USB connectors, and things up here in the corner. And um, has extensive locations for fans. So there's a top section here. Oh yeah, it doesn't come with fans. 
Suppose you have to purchase separately. But basically it gives you the freedom to, to select whatever fans you want. And if you would like to see a video on fan selection, you can actually I have one just before this one. Um, where I describe how to easily find K uh, PC case fans. A little bit of discussion what types there are. And here you see this again, it's got a side panel uh, for cooling with filters in it on behind it. And then, um, let's see, this is the back side. We will also go into it in a bit more detail once I've got on the table. Here we got the back side, and here you see the there's the where you put the, the standard power supply, and um, here it was reserved the location for another power supply and then a, and then a back fan. But this, oddly enough, doesn't seem to have a fan, a filter on, but maybe that's for blowing out, so that's why it doesn't have a filter. Uh, there's an SSD tray behind there, based on what I've been reading. Yeah, so that's what the case looks like. God, that's cool. Um, deviates a little bit from Leon Lee's policy. Leon Lee usually makes cases with aluminium, but this is um, completely made of steel. I can explain why it's a bit cheap, but I don't think it matters. I think it looks really good. And as I said, that I like cases with a little bit more space in them, and I think this, because he actually requested to add that second power supply location and stuff, it makes more like more space here so you have a lot of space for cable management. That's the one I'd be looking at the pictures at least. Hey, really cool. Anyway, if you um like this part one, uh it would be cool if you could subscribe and um if you don't want to miss the part two then hit the bell icon and um yeah we'll see you in the next one.